Hoop Tech clamping system for your Brother PR600 or your Baby Lock EMP system. The Hoop Tech clamp allows you to hoop or to clamp difficult items that you normally can't get into a hoop, say a pocketbook or a towel where the towel wants to pop out of the hoop all the time. Thick items are able to go into this clamping system and just like alligator jaws, it closes down onto the product that allows you to embroider it easily. The hoop tech clamping system comes as two parts. You get a, a base that your windows mount to. The windows are mounted very easily by pushing in on the arms. They're spring-loaded and they slide in and then the bottom window slides out and there's a nut here to hold it in place. So to assemble one, you choose a window, you slide in your bottom window, tighten the screw, then your top window would come in just by pushing the arm in and they snap in place. There's little ears right here that, that lock into holes. Very simple to do. Now there's different size windows you need to buy a base and a window. This is the 6x5 window. For the small system, that's the largest window you can get. But they also make, over here you'll see, a 4x4. They make a 5x3, which is 5 inches wide, 3 inches tall. 2.5 by 4 inches. They make a 2 inch round. They make a left and a right cap window. Here's the other cap window here. There's also a large system. The large system has a 5x8 window and a 5x11 window and they come as a set. When you buy the base you get both windows. When you buy the smaller system, this is the base here, you have to buy a window to go along with it. You may only need 4x4 window and that's all you ever use or a 6x5 window and that's all you ever use. So it's either the large system with both windows or the small system and you can choose however many windows you want to go along with the smaller system. In order to use the clamping system, you first remove the arms that hold your normal hoops on, the, on your embroidery machine. The clamp will come in and, and mount onto those locator pins with the same two screws that you took your embroidery arm off that holds your, your hoops. So you put your two screws back in, tighten those down securely, and that mounts the system where you can open and close the clamp to slide your work in. Okay. I've chosen a large design right now. This design is 5.61 inches wide. It is 3 inches tall. It's a lot wider than tall. But what I wanted to stress to you was how that you go about when you position the design in your hoop, in your clamp actually, and you do a trace, it does not recognize the side of the clamp. So right now I'm over the edge here. My needle hole is covered up by my clamp. So we want, we want to better center this design. On the window itself, you've got small little divots cut out. Those are your centers of, of your clamp. So what I'm going to do is bring this design more towards the center. Right here, I'm going to trace again, watching that I'm staying, I'm keeping my needle hole just inside. For instance, I wasn't quite centered with my design in the, in the window of my clamp, and I went to trace. You see my needle hole here is covered up by the arm of the clamping system. I know I have a 6 inch window and a 5.6 inch design so it will fit. So what I need to do is bring the, bring the design over more in the clamp. If I get closer to center, press my trace again and watch my foot as I go to do my trace. And that looks pretty close, but I want to make sure absolutely that it's going to fit my foot's not going to hit my window. So over here on the screen, you may have seen in the past this little double set of needles that are offset. And wonder what those are for. If I press that needle and this box comes up here, this allows me to position to the different corners and different positions of my design. So if I want to see on my lower left here where my foot's going to go, I, bring the, I press the lower left button on the grid and then I can actually lower my foot down just clear. It's not hitting my window. So I bring my bring my needle back up again and I press the other button on the right hand side here and come all the way over to this side, to the far side of my design. And again I am clearing the design. 
Okay, there are two schools of thought on how you go about centering your design on the bag when you put in the clamp. You can take these little adhesive reinforcement rings like you use on a, a notebook and you can place that down on the center. You measure across and diagonally and you find the center point there. You bring the bag over to the machine and after you load it, you place the reinforcement dot right underneath your foot that you're tracing from, your active needle. The last needle that you sewed on is your active needle. So wherever that foot is, it goes right up underneath there and then you're centered. We've already traced the design. We know it fits in the window. I know where the center of the bag is because there's my reinforcement ring. So I place my foot, this is my active foot, right above the dot. When I get to there, I clamp it down and I do my trace. I already know it fits. I'm ready to sew. The other method is just to place the bag on and just eyeball it and see that I've got the same margin left to right. And then go into the bag and just eyeball it. Of course it's not as accurate as marking ahead of time with a reinforcement circle or putting a pen or one of the purple dry erase markers that you can mark the center. Any way that you want to do it, as long as you know it's going to trace and sew inside this window, you're ready to go. Okay. Once I've checked both sides of my design, I know that my pressure foot is going to clear my clamp. I'm not going to hit my clamp. I want to press the center button and go back to center. It's much easier to work from center of design than it is from left to right. So we're ready to go. Now I'm going to take a pocketbook. I'm going to open up my clamp. I'm going to place the handle of the pocketbook all the way through first and bring it up and out the back of the clamp. I'm not going to move my clamp position anymore. I'm going to move my pocketbook to center it up now. And once I get it centered, I lower my clamp pocketbook's very dense. I can get away without any backing on this one. Some items you need backing, some you don't. This one I'm going to do without any backing. I could reach underneath and slide a piece of backing underneath or I could have taken some in with the pocketbook and hoop the pocketbook and the backing at the same time. I'm going to go to my sewing screen. Uh, we'll choose color number two. Click OK. And we begin to sew. Lowered the jaws on the clamp. It's held very tightly in place. Wow, that was fast. Here we go. Unload the bag. And a beautiful monogram right on your pocketbook. And that's the Hoop Tech clamp system, and that's how it works. So if you have any questions, give us a call or email sales at sewingmachine.com, and we'll be glad to help you. Thank you.